Just as we have bank accounts, particles have their energy accounts, kinetic energy account and potential energy account. Kinetic energy account is like a personal account, whereas potential energy account is like a joint account. A particle isolated from all the particles in the world can have kinetic energy, but it cannot have potential energy. For the potential energy to exist, there must be at least two particles and they must be exerting forces on each other. Potential energy is the energy linked with the configuration of a system of particles interacting through conservative forces. Configuration of a system refers to the relative separation of the particles. If any particle changes its position relative to the rest of the particles, we say that the configuration of the system has changed. And when the configuration changes, the potential energy of the system also changes if there are conservative forces doing work inside the system. Conservative forces are the forces work done by which on a particle moving around any closed path is zero. Some examples of conservative forces are gravitational force, spring force, electric force and magnetic forces. Corresponding to each type of a conservative force, there is a type of a potential energy. In almost all the books, it is the change in potential energy that has been defined first. The reason behind it is that we can only measure the change in potential energy. There is no way to know the absolute value of potential energy of a system. So I will also define the change in potential energy first. Okay, so let us change this heading. The change in potential energy of a system corresponding to a change in configuration is defined as the negative of the work done by the internal conservative forces during the process. So the change in potential energy of a system delta U will be equal to minus W conservative. Here W C is the work done by the internal conservative forces. Work done by the internal conservative forces. Now I will try to elaborate on this definition. Let us consider a two-particle system applying conservative forces on each other. A two-particle system, particle 1, particle 2, and they are applying conservative forces on each other. They are applying conservative forces on each other. Conservative force acting here is suppose F let they are at a separation R1. Then this is one configuration of a system and corresponding to this configuration, the system will have some potential energy. This is configuration I. Suppose I name this configuration to be I. The potential energy is suppose Ui and we, we can never know the value of this Ui. Okay. Now suppose I increase or decrease the separation between them, then the configuration will change. And due to that, potential energy will also change. The best way to do this is to keep one particle fixed at one position and move the other particle to a new position. So suppose I mark this position to be O, this position A. I keep particle one fixed at O 
and move the particle 2 to a new position B this separation is now R2 this is a new configuration configuration F and it will have a new value of potential energy uf the force acting on the particle 2 is the internal force because it is from the another particle which belongs to the system and it is also conservative so this is internal conservative force here i have not moved the particle 1 i have moved only particle 2 so it will be sufficient to calculate the work done on the particle 2 now work done on the particle 2 by this force this internal conservative force there will be some other forces too but we don't have to bother about the work done by those forces we have to only focus on the work done by this internal conservative force so we can calculate the work done by this force if we know this force as a function of the position of the particles suppose we calculate the work done by this force and that work done comes to be wc work done by the internal conservative force during this process what is this process we have changed the configuration the process of changing the configuration the process of moving from configuration i to the configuration f and in this process suppose wc is the work done by this internal conservative force then negative of this work done minus wc will be equal to the change in potential energy of this system change in potential energy of this system the type of potential energy is named after this force this conservative force acting inside the system if that conservative force is a gravitational force then the potential energy will be called gravitational potential energy if that conservative force is electric force then potential energy will be called electric potential energy if that conservative force is a spring force then the potential energy will be called spring potential energy or elastic potential energy and if that force is a magnetic force the potential energy will be called magnetic potential energy now i'm going to discuss the potential energy i mean the absolute value of potential energy Although we cannot measure the absolute potential energy of a system, but we can assign a potential energy value to the system. For that, we have to choose a reference configuration. A reference configuration is the configuration at which the potential energy of a system is assumed to be zero. For example, if we are going to assign a potential energy value to an earth ball system, then in that case, when the ball is on the earth's surface, we consider this, uh, we assume this configuration as a reference configuration. That is, we assume the potential energy value to be zero at this configuration. Remember, we have assumed it to be zero. So it is totally our choice. Now we can assign potential energy values to the other configurations relative to this reference configuration. To define potential energy corresponding to a given configuration, we first put our system at the reference configuration. Then we move the particles to change the configuration to the configuration for which we are going to assign the potential energy value. And we measure the change in potential energy. That is, we measure the negative of the work done by the internal conservative force. This change of potential energy will be the potential energy at the final configuration. Here's the thing about change. The change of any quantity refers to the difference between the final value and the initial value. And if the initial value is zero, then this change will be equal to the final value. So, we have chosen the initial value ui to be zero. Now, we know that delta u is u final minus u initial. i and f are the configurations. Now, I is the initial configuration and F is the final configuration. Since UI is 0, let us put UI is 0 here. So, you have delta U 
equal to u final minus 0. This implies u final equal to delta u. Now this uf is the potential energy at the configuration f and it is equal to delta u and this delta u we can measure by calculating the negative of the work done by the internal conservative force. So u final will be equal to minus w conservative. So this is the potential energy at configuration f that is absolute potential energy. Let us sum up all this in a definition. The potential energy of a system at a configuration f is defined as the negative of the work done by the internal conservative forces in the process in which the system is brought to the configuration f starting from the reference configuration and the reference configuration is the configuration at which the potential energy of the system is assumed to be zero. So potential energy absolute potential energy we can define minus W C here U I is equal to zero because initial configuration is the reference configuration. So the conclusion is the change in potential energy will be negative of the work done by the internal conservative forces. Now if we choose our initial configuration to be the reference configuration then in that case u i will be zero and the same formula can be used for u f potential energy at the configuration f. We can also call it an absolute potential energy. So in this manner we can define the absolute potential energy value but keep in mind the absolute value of the potential energy will always be subjected to the choice of the reference configuration. And we choose the reference configuration according to the requirement of the situation given in the problem.